and welcome to Your Journey Yoga. I'm Cheryl. Um, just a happy Monday, you guys. I hope uh, this is a wonderful new week. Um, so things are changing up a little bit. I know that some people can kind of be anxious, some people are super excited. So um, just remember that uh, we're all in this together, right? Um, it's not uh, just one person's journey. So um, just be respectful of those around you. Be kind, be encouraging, um, take care of yourself and um, do your part to make this world a better place. And as far as I'm concerned, at least for me, I know that um, in taking care of myself and keeping my head straight, the mat comes into play. Um, you guys come into play. So uh, thank you for choosing to join me today. And I hope it's beautiful wherever you are. I hope you're starting out your Monday with a big old fat smile on your face. And it's only gonna get bigger and better throughout the week. Um, so today, just, a good nice practice just to get head to toe, clear out some negative energy, um, really promote that positive energy and um, just feel in light and hopefully uh, stress free. So if you're feeling heavy and whatnot, what better time to get on your mat. Um, but in the meantime, let's find a seated position that works for you. Sitting up nice and tall, if that's not a cross-legged position for you, that's fine. Just find some place where you can sit up nice and tall and feel that length in your spine. So just by creating good posture, this opens up our chest, guys, and it gives us a lift in our spirits as well. Let your hands rest comfortably wherever you like. Close your eyes, relax your jaw, get rid of the wiggles, and let's take a second to just really connect with the breath. Slow, steady breaths in and out through the nose. Let your mind quiet. Allow yourself to be present right here. Let go of the rest of the world. Now by really intentionally breathing, setting our intention on the breath, the length and the depth of each breath, we can quiet the nervous system. We can let go of anxiety. We can find a calm, peace within us. So really stay focused on your breath as we move through practice. Stopping whenever you need to, grabbing a drink whenever you need to. And then joining again when you're ready. Now coming to a cross-legged position if you're not already there, bringing the hands to the shins just below your knees. Take a big breath in and press the chest forward, arch your back, gaze to the sky. Exhale and hollow the tummy and chest, tuck your chin. Inhale, press and lift the chest, arch your back, gaze to the sky. Exhale and hollow. One more time, each direction are seated cat and cow. Just really nice for waking up through the spine, connecting movements to your breath. We inhale it up nice and tall, keeping those eyes closed or you're welcome to open. Just make a big circle with that upper body. So I want you to visualize as though you were stirring a pot. It doesn't matter which direction you're going to go. You're just going to rotate the torso. And through this big rotation, we start to notice if we're holding any tension in the hips, the lower back, the knees, the shoulders. Just knowledge. Last rotation, as your tummy and chest come towards the front, we're gonna pause for just a moment and now switch directions. So again, it doesn't matter which way you started. We're just going in the opposite direction now. And this might feel very different than it did going in the other direction. Now it's not a super fast rotation. It's just whatever feels good to you. No judgments, no comparisons. Last rotation all the way around. As your tummy and chest come towards the front, core strong, and lift back up. Release your hands to the outsides of your hips. Sit up nice and tall, take a big breath in, and as you exhale, release your chin towards the chest. Inhale, head up nice and tall, and as you exhale, lean your head back, gaze to the sky. Inhale, head up nice and tall, and as you exhale, lean the head to the right. Just a nice stretch to the neck. 
Inhale, head up tall. Exhale and lean to the left. Inhale, head up tall one more time, each direction as you exhale, chin towards the chest. Inhale, head up nice and tall, and as you exhale, gently lean your head back. Nice stretch to the throat. Inhale, head up nice and tall, keep that length in the spine. Exhale, release that right ear towards the right shoulder. Inhale, head up tall, and as you exhale, lean that left ear towards the left shoulder. Inhale, head up nice and tall. As you exhale, turn your head out over that right shoulder. So take your gaze towards the right. Now gently tuck your chin towards that right collarbone. Breathe. Inhale, head up nice and tall, turn back to face front. And as you exhale, turn your gaze out over that left shoulder as far as you can turn, keeping that spine nice and tall. Now gently tuck your chin towards that left collarbone. Inhale, lift your gaze, turn it back to face front, reach to the sky. Exhale, lengthen, hinge it forward. Little tap of the fingertips to the floor. Big circle of those arms around back by your hips. Big circle of the arms overhead. And as you exhale, turn to the right. Tap the fingertips to the floor. Inhale, back to center. Reach to the sky. Exhale, lengthen, hinge it forward. Core straw. Little tap of the fingertips. Lengthen and reach. Hinge it all the way back up. Now turn to the left. Tap the fingertips. Lengthen that spine. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, lengthen, hinge it forward, reach it out, release your hands, now just relax the weight of your head. As you inhale, just a little rotation of the torso, lifting that left side of the ribcage, and gently release it down. As you inhale, now rotate to the other side, right side of the ribcage lifts, exhale and release it down. One more time each side, inhale. Little rotation through that torso. Exhale and release it down. One more time to the right. Inhale, lift the right side of the torso. Exhale and release. Big circle of those arms back by the hips. Big circle of the arms overhead. Hinge it up nice and tall. Let's come forward and up onto all fours. To tabletop. Hands shoulder width apart. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Core is strong. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, draw your right ear towards your right hip, hip towards your ear, creating a C-shape with your spine, holding that C-shape, activating those abdominal muscles, those obliques. Inhale it back to center. Exhale, left ear, left shoulder. Drawing the ear towards the hip, hip towards the ear. Not turning your face, but drawing the ear towards your hip. Holding that C-shape, activating those oblique muscles down that left side. Inhale, back to center. Let's alternate side to side. Just moving with your breath. Those exhales as you create the C-shape. Those inhales as you come back to center. One more time, each side. Inhale, it to center. Exhale, other side. And back to center. Sit it back to child's pose. Extend the arms out nice and long. Hips back towards your heels. Forehead towards the floor. Just nice big deep breaths. Extending those arms out nice and long. Hand shoulder width apart. Spread your fingers wide. We lift the forehead. Tuck the toes. Press and lift your hips to the sky. As we come up to our first downward facing dog. Make whatever adjustments you need to make. Hands shoulder width apart, feet hip width. Now we can bend those knees as much as you need to. I want you to focus on pressing through the palms of the hands to see if you can get the bend out of your wrists rather than having that pressure on the wrists and through the shoulders. As you press through the palms of the hands and guide your weight back, that's gonna take the pressure out of the shoulders, out of the wrists. And then we slowly let those heels begin to sink. Let's inhale up to the balls of the feet. Exhale, press the chest and shoulders towards your thighs. Reach your sit bones high. 
and inhale it to high plank or high push-up position. Shoulders right over those fingertips. Exhale, lift your hips back to down dog. Now as we transition between these two poses, we shouldn't need to move much at all. Inhaling to plank, exhaling back to down dog. Two more times, just moving with your breath, slow and steady. So this is definitely not a race. We wanna get those big deep breaths in and we wanna let those heels just start to sink towards the floor, feeling that long stretch through the calves, through the hamstrings. We meet back in down dog. Find your breath. Taking the gaze between your hands, walk step or hop to forward fold. Inhale up to monkey half lift. Exhale down. Inhale reverse swan dive up. Pulling the hands to heart center. Bringing the big toes to touch, little space between the heels. Inhale, reach the sky, big circle of those arms to the back. We sit to chair as you pull the hands to heart center. Now your chair might be a lower chair. Your chair might be a higher chair. Find what works for you. And we're gonna lift the chest and we're gonna shift our weight back to our heels. Can you lift all 10 toes? Knees are gently touching. Inhale, half lift. Exhale and sink. Inhale, half lift. Weight still in the heels. Exhale and sink. Now shift your weight forward, lift your heels, coming up to balanced chair. Chest remains lifted, core remains strong. Inhale, half lift. Stay high on the balls of the feet. Exhale and sink, challenging balance. Inhale, half lift. Exhale and sink. Shift your weight back to your heels, toes lift, inhale, rise. Exhale, hinging forward, arms sweep back to flight, crown of the head points towards the front of the room, shoulders are rolled back, lengthen through those fingertips, palms facing towards the floor. Now spread your fingers and see if you can reach any further back. Those arms are just a little bit higher than your hips. We're lengthening and reaching through those fingertips and through the crown of the head. Belly button drawn in and out. Now rotate palms to the sky, big circle of those arms overhead as you hinge up tall. Pull the hands to heart center, rock back to the heels, open your feet to mountain. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, swan dive to forward fold. Inhale, up to monkey half lift. Exhale, down. Walk super hop to high plank. Toes or knees, crocodile down. Press it through, up dog. And exhale to down dog. And let's gently alternate bending those knees, walking out. Head heavy, face soft. As you exhale, let both heels sink. We shift our weight to our left foot, right toes to the sky. Exhaling and sweeping that right foot to the outside of your right hand. Toes turn out just slightly. We rotate our bodies and extend. Right arm to the sky, reaching up as high as you can reach. Find the extension out of your shoulder, up through the tips of your fingers. Now rotate your right palm towards the front of the room, reach it up and over. Turn your gaze towards the floor. A little tuck of your chin towards that left collarbone. Lengthen and reach to those right fingertips. Inhale, lift that right arm to the sky and slowly release that right hand to the inside of the foot. Step it back to plank. Holding your plank or one push up. Lift your hips to down dog. Right knee bends, left heel presses towards the floor. Switch sides, left knee bends, right heel down. Inhale up to the balls of the feet and exhale, press the chest and shoulders towards your thighs, reach your sit bones high. Exhale and let your heels gently sink. Shifting your weight to your right foot, left toes to the sky. Exhaling and sweeping that left foot to the outside of the left hand, toes slightly turned out. We rotate and extend. Right arm to the sky, reaching up just as high as you can reach, extending out of the shoulder up to the tips of the fingers. 
Now rotate that left palm towards the front of the room, reach it up and over. Slowly turn your gaze towards the mat. A long diagonal line, all the way down from the tips of the left fingers, all through the body and out through the leg. A little tuck of the chin towards that right collarbone. Just a little stretch for the neck. Inhale, lift that left arm back to the sky. And as you exhale, slowly release that left hand to the inside of your foot. Step it back to plank. Toes or knees, hold your plank. Or two push-ups. Slow and steady. One more. Lift your hips to down dog. Gently sway those hips side to side. Nice deep breaths. Coming back to center, we shift our weight to our left foot, right toes to the sky. Exhaling and sweeping that right foot through between the hands. Left foot's going to step behind the right, and we're going to bring those ankles just as tightly together as we can, relaxing the weight of the upper body down. So just a little different sensation stretch for those legs. Inhale, lift just slightly, and let's walk the hands to the left, as far as you can walk the hands, and draw your nose towards your knees. Inhale, lift just slightly, walk your hands back to your center, and now to the right, as far as you can walk your hands, and draw your nose towards your knee. What do you feel? Where do you feel it? Let go of that tension. Find that deep breath. Inhale, lift just slightly, walk back through the center. We're going to let those arms be heavy, core strong, and slowly roll it up. One vertebra stacking on top of the other with a big shoulder roll at the top. Shoulders slide down and away. Inhale, reach to the sky. And as you exhale, left hand comes down, right arm reaches, and we lean in. Turn your gaze to the sky. How far can you reach in both directions? Inhale, both arms come up. Exhale, other side, right hand down, left arm high. Take your gaze to the sky, reach as far as you could reach. Inhale, both arms come up. Hands pass right through heart center to forward fold. Take a big step back with your left foot and then the right to down dog. Holding your down dog, feel free to grab a drink of water or inhale it to high plank. One push up, toes or knees. Open your feet a little bit wider than the width of your mat. One push up, toes or knees. Open your hands a little bit wider than the width of your mat. One push up, toes or knees. Close your feet. One push up. Close your hands. One more. Lift your hips to down dog. Allowing those heels to sink, the head to be heavy, the face to be soft. Adding a little tip of the pelvis if that feels right to you. We shift our weight to our right foot, left toes to the sky. Exhaling and sweeping that left foot through. Right foot steps in behind the left. Bring those ankles just as tightly together as you can get. And relax the weight of the upper body down. Find your breath. Slow it down. Inhale, lift just slightly. Walk your hands to the right. Far as you can walk those hands. And then draw your nose towards your knee. So we're getting a really nice stretch for the IT band. For the backs of the legs in that lower back, through the side body. So lots of stuff going on here. Inhale, lift just slightly, walk your hands back through center. And now over to the left, as far as you can walk your hands. And draw your nose toward your knee. Find your breath. Inhale, lift just slightly, walk your hands back through the center. Head heavy, arms heavy. Core strong, slowly roll it up. So a little challenge for our balance as we have those legs crisscrossed. Feel how the core muscles take over to help keep us balanced and centered. Big shoulder roll up and back. Shoulders 
Slide down and away, inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, right hand stays up, left arm goes down. Lean in and reach. Take your gaze to the sky. Long stretch all the way down that right side. Inhale, both arms come up. Exhale, other side, lean in and reach. Breathe. Inhale, both arms come up. Exhale, hands come right through heart center to forward fold. Giant step back with your right foot and then your left to down dog. Holding your down dog, grabbing a drink of water or inhale it to high plank. Core is strong. Breathe. Lengthen through the crown of the head. Lift out of those shoulders. Strong through the belly. Long through the spine. We tap those right toes out to the side and bring it back to center. Left toes tap out to the side and bring it back to center. Right knee to the right elbow and back to center. Left knee, left elbow and back to center. Right knee through the center and back. Left knee through center and back. One push up. Lift your hips to down dog. Allow the heels to sink. The head to be heavy. We shift our weight to our left foot, right toes to the sky. Exhaling and sweeping that right foot through. Back foot steps in to forward fold. We shift our weight to our heels. Core is strong. We slowly begin to bend the knees just a little bit. Core is strong. Now placing those hands to the thighs and helping yourself roll up or extend those arms out and hinge it up. We come back to chair, a little different variation of chair. So now our knees are not touching and neither are our big toes. Our chest is lifted, our core is strong. You might notice a, bit, a little more work for those legs. Breathe. Inhale, reach to the sky and as you exhale, arch it back. A little or a lot. Inhale, reach to the sky and as you exhale, take a giant step back. Open the arms out to a T. Toes are turned out to the outside corner of your mouth. Core is strong, let's hinge it forward. We're gonna come halfway over. Releasing that right hand to the floor. Palm centered out in front of us. Core is strong, keep those hips side by side. And rotate, left arm to the sky. Reaching up as high as you can reach without allowing those hips to shift. Now there's some resistance going on. That's what we wanna feel. Core is strong, maybe you feel shaky. That's good, that means you're working hard. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, now let that left hip lift as you rotate a little easier. And transfer now that beautiful stretch all the way down the inside of the right leg. Find your breath, spread your fingers wide. Can you reach any higher? How about if we circle that left arm around behind the back, forearm along the small of the back. If you can find your right thigh, hold on to it. How about that gaze? Up over that left shoulder. Releasing that left hand, sweeping it up towards the sky. And as you exhale, slowly release that left hand down. Left hand takes the place of the right. We square those hips and keep them square. And rotate towards the right. Right arm reaching to the sky. Now that right hip really wants to lift. We're not going to let it. We're going to keep those hips side by side. Find your breath, feel the resistance. Can you feel the strength in that upper and middle back and all through those obliques? Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, slowly lift that right hip, adding that deeper rotation, and now feeling that wonderful stretch all the way down that inside of the left leg. Reach it up as high as you can reach. We're gonna stack the shoulders and those arms. How about if we circle that right arm around behind the back? Forearm along the small of the back. Can you find that left thigh to take a hold of? If it's not quite there, no worries. Just wrap your arm. How about your gaze? Can you take it any higher? How's that breath? Slow and steady. Once again, extending right arm to the sky. And as you exhale, slowly release your hand down. 
and slowly release the weight of the upper body down. Take a hold of the outsides of the ankles. Use the strength of the upper body or the arms to draw that upper body towards the space between your legs. Now, if you need to adjust the width of your stance, adjust. Use those arms to pull that upper body in. A little tuck of your chin towards your chest. A little shift of your weight forward into your toes. Find that breath. Now center your weight, bring the hands around behind your back. If you happen to have tighter shoulders and you happen to have a towel or a strap handy, take a hold of that in each hand. Now we can keep those hands loose just with the fingers interlaced or if you like, bring your palms to touch. We can keep those arms resting where they are or roll those shoulders up and back. Lift your hands towards the sky. So now as we lift those arms and we let gravity take a hold of the weight of the arms, that's going to influence the stretch from the backs of the legs at the same time. So our job is to stay solid through the core and those supporting muscles, but allow the limbs to stretch, the muscles to lengthen, the breath to flow. Now, if it feels right to you, shift a little weight forward into those toes. Just be mindful because you've already got some extra weight pulling you forward with those arms. Now, slowly bring the hands to the small of the back. Center your weight. Release the arms. Let them hang. If you're taking special care of your lower back today, bend your knees slightly. Place your hands just above your knees and begin to roll up. Back feels amazing. Lengthen through those arms. Lengthen through the crown of the head and let's slowly hinge up. Take your time. Slowly rise all the way back up and relax those arms. Give yourself just a second. You might feel a little lightheaded. We were upside down for a bit. Turn your toes towards the top of the mat. Giant step forward to mountain. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, swan back to forward fold. Inhale, up to monkey half lift. Exhale down, try and sit back with your left foot. We lift the arms to crescent lunge. Now, if you'd like to bring that back knee to the mat, please feel free. Top of the foot's going to come to the mat if that's the case as well. If the knee remains off the mat, press through that back heel. Beautiful long stretch through the front of that left leg. We're firing up the quadriceps and the glutes, the hamstring on that right leg. Breathe, inhale, reach to the sky, and as you exhale, rotate towards the right. Open the arms out to a T. Lengthen and reach, spread your fingers wide. Now keep that rotation, pull your hands to heart center, left elbow to that right knee. Press against your knee and work to bring your hands towards heart center. Gaze is up over that right elbow. Find your breath. If you like, open the arms. Back of that left arm pressing against the outside of the knee. Lengthen and reach through those right fingertips. Now slowly lower that right arm straight out to shoulder height. Feel that openness through the chest, that reach, that length through the bicep. Inhale, lift that right arm back to the sky. Keep your rotation. Pull the hands back to heart center. We turn back to face front. Extend the arms overhead. Circle the arms forward, back of the hands pull towards the back of the room as you open the chest and gaze to the sky. Spread your fingers and lengthen those arms. Find your breath. Rotate palms to the sky, big circle of those arms overhead. Flow forward, both hands to the inside of that right foot. Let your hips be heavy. Core strong. Let's heel toe that right foot out to the outside edge of your mat. Toes are off the mat, heel is on, and we're going to center our hands underneath us. Core is strong. Now, if you were taking special care of your knees, stay here and focus on that inner thigh and hip stretch. Otherwise, deepening that stretch, we pull that left foot in across from the right. Toes turned out, chest lifts to frog. Now, as we draw that pelvis forward through the legs, we lift the chest. This is going to deepen that stretch. It's also going to challenge our balance. So if you need to adjust the width of your stance, please do. If you like, extend the arms overhead. Now that's going to add some intensity. Is that right for you or not? Pull the hands back to heart center. 
And we're gonna do our very best not to lift with our bottom first, but to lead with the crown of the head, firing up those legs, slow and steady rise. Notice if one leg tries to take over. We wanna even out that strength. Extend the arms to the sky, interlace your fingers, turn your palms to the sky, and as you exhale, arch it back. A little or a lot. Inhale it up tall. Pull the hands to heart center. And we slowly sink. Tailbone straight towards the floor. Knees opening out to the sides. We sink low into our frog. Release your hands. Walk step or hop to high plank. Toes or knees. One push up. Again. And once more. Lift your hips to down dog. And gently alternate bending knees, walk it out. Nice big deep breaths. We inhale up to the balls of the feet and as you exhale, swing your heels out, turn your toes in, and then let your heels sink. So just with that little pigeon toed stance in your feet, notice the change in the stretch. Along through the ankles, the outer calves, IT bands, hips. Inhale, lift the heels, spin the heels back towards one another, and then gently let the heels sink. Breathe. Taking the gaze between your hands, walk super hop to forward fold. Inhale up to monkey half lift. Exhale down. Inhale reverse one dive up. And pull those hands to heart center. Once again, take a giant step back. Turn those toes out to the outside corners of your mat. Arms open out to a T. Rotate palms to the sky. Inhale, reach to the sky. Sunflowers. Exhale, ground plie down. Chest stays tall. Inhale, reach to the sky. Lengthen those limbs. Again, exhale, run plie. Inhale, reach. Exhale, run plie. Inhale, reach. Squeeze at the top one more time. Exhale, run plie. And reach. Open those arms out to a T. Bring the hands around behind you. Interlace your fingers all but the index finger and thumb. Roll those shoulders back. Core is strong. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, begin to lift your arms as high as you can get them. So with this wide stance, notice the center, our balance, a little bit stronger. So a wider base, a bigger platform, giving us a little extra leverage, a little extra strength. Slowly bring the hands back down, take a big breath in. And as you exhale, arch it back, gaze to the sky, reach those index fingers towards the floor. Now notice the shift in your body weight and the different muscles that come into play. How's your breath? Inhale it up nice and tall. Release your hands, circle the arms overhead. Exhale, open those arms back out to a T and slowly hinge all the way over. Relax the weight of your head. We shift our weight to our heels, turning those toes towards one another. So again, that little bit of pigeon toed stance with our feet. Just noticing how that comes into play, the difference that we feel throughout the body. Bringing the hands to the outsides of the ankles. Again, if you need to adjust the width of your stance, do so. And use the strength of the arms to pull that upper body towards the legs, the space between the legs. A little tuck of the chin towards the chest. A little shift of our weight forward into the toes. Now, if you like, you can reach through the legs and kind of wrap the forearms around behind the calves, taking a hold of those ankles. That's just a different sensation. Gives you a little stretch to the upper and middle back, a little stretch in the shoulders, a little different variation for the balance. Again, just noticing how the body responds. Center your weight, release the arms. Let's release them back to the heels and turn those toes back out. Once again, if you are taking special care of those knee, your lower back, bend the knees. Place your hands just above the knees and begin to roll it up. That feels amazing. Extend those arms out to a T. Lengthen through the crown of the head and slowly rise. All the way up. 
give yourself just a second. And as you're ready, turn the toes towards the top of the mat. Giant step forward to mount. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, swan dive to forward fold. Inhale up to monkey half lift. Exhale down. Try and step back with your right foot. Back knee comes down if you like, otherwise knee is off. We lift the arms up to crescent. Our crescent lunge. If that back knee is down, so is that top foot or the top of the foot. Otherwise knee is off. We're pressing through that back heel. Find your breath, shoulders soft. Breathe. Inhale, reach to the sky, and as you exhale, rotate to the left. Open the arms out to a T. Spread your fingers and reach. Keeping the chest lifted, arms long. Pull the hands to heart center, right elbow to the left knee. Press against the knee and work to bring your hands towards heart center. Find your breath. Just taking notice of the body, of the breath. Opening the arms out, back of that right arm, pressing against the outside of the knee, extending and reaching through those left fingertips, working to get as much rotation as you can. Now slowly lower that left leg to shoulder, left arm to shoulder height. Breathe, lengthen and reach to the fingertips. Once again, lifting that left arm, keeping that rotation, pulling the hands back to heart center. Turn back to face front. Extend the arms to the sky. Big circle of those arms forward. Back of the hands pull towards the back of the room as you open the chest to the sky. Spread your fingers and reach. Feel how that activates the upper and middle back. Feel how strong you feel through the belly, through the legs, out through those fingertips. Rotate palms to the sky. Big circle of those arms overhead. Flow forward, both hands to the inside of your foot. Let your hips be heavy. Core is strong. Now again, that back knee can remain on the floor. It's perfectly fine. We're going to heel toe that left foot out to the outside edge of your mat. Toes are off. Heel is on, and we're going to center those hands underneath us. So again, you can take, stay here, focusing on that stretch for the groin, the hip, the glutes. Or if you like, pull that right foot in across from the left. We lift the chest and pull the hands to heart center. Frog or garland pose. Wonderful stretch through those hips and the groin. So I want you to just kind of notice how your feet feel here, how your hips feel here. I want you to imagine there's a wall behind you and you're working to get your whole back against that wall. Now, yep, your bottom is probably against that wall. Can you lift the chest and find it with your upper back? Now we can stay right here, or if you like, be really mindful, your tailbone's going to want to lift first. We want to lead with the crown of the head and rise, and we're going to rise slow. Now which leg wants to take over that weight bearing? Even it out. Extend the arms to the sky. Interlace your fingers at the top, press your palms to the sky, and exhale, arch it back. A little or a lot. Inhale it up tall, pull the hands to heart center, and sink. Breathe. Slow and steady all the way down. Elbows to the insides of your knees, keep them a little press. Now slowly draw the forearms towards the floor. So we're creating a nice straight line across the forearms. This is going to activate through the upper and middle back a little bit. Gently release your hands, walk step or hop to high plank. Toes or knees, one push up. You can also just hold plank again. One more time. Awesome job. Lift your hips to down dog. And gently alternate bending knees, walking out. Find your breath. And as you exhale, let both heels sink. 
We shift our weight to our left foot, right toes to the sky. As you exhale, sweep your right knee across to your left wrist. Touch your knee to your left wrist. Now place your right hip right next to your right wrist. So we have created a nice straight line. Let's see, I'll go this way. So we want that right knee against the wrist, left hip against the wrist, and we're gonna lift. Now the back leg can do whatever it feels like doing. It's really a non-event in this whole stretch. Sit up nice and tall. Now I want you to visualize an eyeball in your belly button, and your eyeball wants to see the top center of your mat. So we lengthen through the spine and rotate. So we wanna make sure we get the length in the spine before the rotation. Now, if this is enough stretch for you guys, close your eyes. Stay right here. Breathe. So we've made a nice straight line across the top of your mat with your thigh. Connected hip and knee to each wrist. Now, if it feels right to you, we're going to slowly start to walk out. And we're going to extend that right arm. We're going to reach it out. And then we're going to turn. Just kidding. Up nice and tall. Breathe. Now, if it feels right to you, we're going to take that left hand and we're going to walk it out. And we're going to turn and place that left ear to that left arm. Your right hand is just there for support. Great. Great detoxifying stretch. Amazing stretch for the lower back, through the ribs. Now close your eyes and just see if you can release. Relax and surrender into this pose. Now if it's not feeling super relaxing, no worries guys. Just make sure that you're still breathing slow and steady. There's a lot of stuff happening here. You just want to let it happen. And slowly, slowly, when you're ready, Start to walk that hand back in. We sit back up nice and tall. Hands come down on back to the floor. We tuck the back toes, lift the hips, sweep it back, and extend right leg to the sky. And gently release it down. Inhaling to high plank. Crocodile down. Press it through up dog. And exhale to down dog. And now shifting to your right foot, left toes to the sky. As you exhale, that left knee is going to cross to your right wrist. Touch it. Now place your left hip to that left wrist and sit up nice and tall. So we have connected knee and hip to the wrists. We can touch them. So it's different than our pigeon pose. That back leg can do whatever you want it to do. Sit up nice and tall, so really get that length in the spine before the rotation. Find your breath. Shoulders are rolled back. Breathe. Okay, so you can stay right here. If this is a decent enough stretch for you, just close your eyes. If you like, right hand, we're going to start to walk it out. Left hand is going to be there for support. Extending that right arm out as far as you can reach it. And then turn your face so that that right ear can rest on that right arm. And we're going to let that left arm just gently collapse, losing as much weight on that left hand as you need for support. But really working to just relax all the way down. So this side might feel entirely different than the other. More or less intense. Or do you just hold tension differently in different parts of the body? Remember guys, it's just knowledge. It's just learning about ourselves. The things we need to spend more time on, the things that are easy. How the body responds to the breath. Now, as you're ready, slowly start to walk your hand back up. Sit up nice and tall. Breathe. I'm just going to turn this way so it's easier to see. We extend that back leg. 
Tuck the toes, lift the hips, sweep it back, and extend left leg to the sky. And gently release it down to down dog. Inhale it to high plank. Hold your plank, toes or knees. Core is strong. Tap your left toes out to the side and back to center. Right toes out to the side and back to center. Left knee to the left elbow and back to center. Right knee, right elbow and back to center. Left knee through center and back. Right knee through center and back. Lift your hips to down dog. And gently alternate bending your knees, walk it out. Head heavy, soften your face. We inhale up to the balls of the feet. Exhale, press the chest and shoulders toward your thighs, reach your sit bones high. And as you exhale, let your heels gently sink. We inhale up to high plank. Super slow, crocodile down. And I mean super slow. Take your time. I want you to feel the insides of your biceps gently brush against the rib cage. Your whole body moving down in one level plank. Press it through up dog and sit it back to child's pose. Nice big deep breaths. And then slowly walk the hands up. Come over onto one hip. Sweep your feet around. Just a seated position that feels good to you. Okay, so we're gonna come to fire log pose. We're gonna take that right leg out to the side and we're gonna bring that left foot out in front of us, creating a nice straight line across the top of your mat with your shin. Now we take that right leg crossing it up and over, working to stack the ankles and the knees. Now you might have a ton of space between the ankle and the knee, you might be super flat. So if you are super flat, God love you. So um, you guys, this is just a really intense hip stretch. And as you begin to relax and surrender into this pose, amazing things start to happen. We hold a lot of negative energy in our hips, our neck and our lower back. So particularly the hips, it's really hard to let go of that negative energy, you guys, but it is so great when we can. So I want you to focus on keeping both sit bones connected to the floor. If you're kind of listing over onto one side, yep, you're just tight, okay? So really work on sitting up nice and tall so that you don't end up impacting that lower back. You can use support if you're listing over to one side or the other. Use the support of both hands to sit up nice and tall. I'll just let that knee sink. If you like, you can place that right hand to the knee and give it a gentle press. You do not have to do that. If you are clenching your jaw shut, if your eyes are squeezed shut, guys, it's hard for your body to let go if you are holding tension anywhere. So big deep breaths, soften your eyes, relax your jaw. Now, if you like, bring your hands forward out in front of those shins. This little tip forward will be a really good test. It's either gonna feel good or it's gonna be a no-go. So if it's no, back off. If it's like, yeah, that feels pretty good. Go ahead and walk your hands forward. A little or a lot, keeping the support through the hands and just relaxing the weight of the upper body down. Now we can let those hands be out in front of us, or if you like, bring your hands off to the side. We're kind of lift, lifting up through the palms of the hands so we're on the pads of the fingers. Fingers are spread wide. Core is strong, take a big breath in. And as you exhale, now we're going to slightly shift our weight, drawing that right shoulder down, and then come back to center. Now shift that weight, left shoulder comes down, so a little rotation through the torso, and come back to center. Just alternating that little rotation, that little shift, and just notice how your body responds. We're just going to do a few of these. So your pace, just kind of turn the face along with you as you get that little rotation through the torso. One more time each side. Breathe. So has that space gotten smaller between the knee and the ankle? 
Now extend one arm out in front and then the other. Relax the weight of the upper body down best you can. Now I want you to notice if you're holding tension in those hips. I want you to own it if you are. And then as you exhale, see if you can let it go. And slowly walk your hands back up. Sit up nice and tall, rock back to the point where you can release those legs, extend them out in front, flex your feet, reach to the sky, lengthen and hinge it forward, tummy down, chest down, hands, and relax the weight of your head. Breathe. Inhale, reach it out. Sit up nice and tall. Release your hands. Now take that left leg off to the side. Right foot crosses out in front. So you're gonna notice as we come into this, it's gonna feel a little bit different than it did on the other side. Hopefully this side feels better. We take that left leg, crossing it up and over. Now we've kind of already worked this hip, so you might feel it a little differently. Maybe it's gonna be already warm and fuzzy, which would be fabulous. I want you to notice if there's more or less space here. So all that does is tell us if there's a little more negative energy hanging out in the hip, if we've got some more tension and tightness in that hip, it's not a big deal, guys. It is what it is, okay? We just wanna own it and we wanna be aware of it so that we can work to make it better, however that is. So maybe it's you spend a little extra time on that side and maybe it's you need a little bit more love. Maybe you need to breathe a little deeper on this side. So again, you're working to get both sit bones down. You're welcome to place that left hand to the knee and give it a gentle press. Our feet are flexed to take care of those ankles. And there's the length in our spine. So the length in our spine promotes positive posture. You guys know I am all about really good posture, right? Because this is so important, you guys, with gait, with balance, with core strength, with overall health. The shoulders are rolled back, the spine is tall. We're activating the muscles in the upper back, middle back. We're stretching through the chest. So every day that passes, gravity pulls us forward. Computers pull us forward. Driving pulls us forward. Everything pulling us forward. So we want to work against that and really make sure that we are strong through the back, open through the chest, better breaths, better posture, better life. If you like, walk the hands forward. Again, that looks, you'll know right away. If you're like, no, that is not good. Come back up, sit up nice and tall. If you're like, yeah, feels good. And we want to walk the hands forward further. Feel free. So initially your body is going to tense up. Absolutely. Give yourself a second. Let your body adjust. Let your breath find the slow, steady breath. And now again, we can keep those arms extended out or you can open those arms out to a T. Again, kind of lifting the palms of the hands, resting on the pads of the fingers. Fingers are spread nice and wide. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, a little shift from one side to the other side. So just that little roll of the, of the torso, that little rotation, just giving us a different perspective, a different sense of this stretch. So we're not racing, we're not making it super fast. Again, using those big deep breaths and allowing the face to turn with us as we shift from side to side. One more each side. We come back to center, extend one arm back out in front and then the other. And just notice the difference in the stretch. Did it let go at all? I hope so. And slowly walk your hands back up, sitting up nice and tall. Rock back to the point where you can release those legs, extend the legs out nice and long, flex your feet, reach to the sky, lengthen, hinge it forward, tummy down, chest down, hands, and relax the weight of your head. Let's bring the hands around behind the back, interlacing the fingers. Again, if you happen to have that towel or that strap, if those shoulders are pretty tight, take a hold of it. Now we can let those hands stay resting where they are. You can soften your feet if you like, or keep those feet flexed. Roll the shoulders up and back, lift your hands towards the sky. So by lifting those arms, you feel how that gently brings, not even gently, how it just brings the upper body close to your legs. Now lengthen through the crown of the head. Can you flatten out that spine at all? 
of your breath. I hope you're not holding it. If you are, back off a little bit. Now slowly bring the hands to the small of the back. Extending the arms out in front. Lift it high. Circle the arms around behind your back. Fingertips point towards your bottom. Shift your weight back onto your hands. Point your toes. Press and lift your hips to the sky. Coming up to reverse plank. Squeeze your buns. Lift your belly. Lift those hips. Gazing towards the sky or towards your belly button. One last strength. Slowly bring your bottom back down. Flex your feet, sit up tall, reach to the sky. Lengthen and hinge it forward. Release your hands. Relax the weight of your head. Inhale, reach it out. Sit up nice and tall. Soften your feet, core strong. Slowly roll yourself back. And relax. Drawing one knee in towards your chest, and then the other. Hands to your shins, just below your knees. Pull your knees in nice and tight. A little lift of your upper body, making yourself into a tight little ball. Bringing the hands behind your calves, or taking a hold of the ankles. Extend your legs, keeping that upper body up as best you can. Now flex your feet. Use the strength of the arms to pull those legs towards your upper body. As straight as you can get those legs. Now slowly release the upper body back down. Keep those legs in nice and tight. Gently releasing through the arms. Extend your legs to the sky. Point your toes. Open the arms out to a T. Core strong. Slowly open those legs as wide as you like. At that widest point, flex your feet. Now rotate your heels towards one another and slowly close those legs. If you were zipping your legs shut, heels touch, toes touch, and point. Slowly open those legs as wide as you can get them. At that widest point, flex your feet. Rotate those heels towards one another and then slowly close them shut. Heels touch, toes touch, and point. Again, slowly open. Core staying strong. At that lowest point, flex your feet. Rotate those heels and then slowly close it shut. Heels touch, toes touch, and point. Either one leg at a time or both legs. Slowly begin to lower the legs. We want to work to keep the small of the back connected to the floor. So wherever you feel the strongest and that's low, lower the back, stays connected to the floor, that's where we want to be. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Till both heels gently touch the mat. And relax. Take your time. Both heels come down. As you're ready, one knee comes in. Let's make it that right knee. Pull your right knee in. Left hand crosses to the outside of the right knee and gently pull your leg across your body. Keeping both shoulders on the floor just as best you can. Turn your gaze out over that right arm. Close your eyes. Just do your best to keep both shoulders down and to keep that chest open to the sky. Ringing out tension and tightness in the back. Working on flexibility in the spine. Really important to help stay young. Just a nice little stretch for that right hip. Releasing that left hand, slowly roll it back to center. Extend right leg to the sky. Point your toes, lengthen your leg. The left turn rotation through that hip. Reach out through the toes. And slowly lower your leg. Until it gently comes to rest. Left knee comes in, left arm extends out to a T. Right hand to the outside of the left knee. And gently pull your leg across your body. Keeping both shoulders on the floor just as best you can. Turn your gaze out over that left arm. So we're working to keep both shoulders down. Chest open towards the sky. Again, work on the flexibility of the spine. That release of tension in that lower back. The ringing out of negative energy, anxiety, uncertainty. 
If any of you guys are feeling overwhelmed, anxious, just out of sorts, come to this pose. Spend just a few moments. Take five really good deep breaths here. With your eyes closed and your jaw relaxed. Literally rings out negative energy. Any and all kinds. Releasing that right hand, slowly roll it back to center. Extend left leg to the sky. Point your toes, lengthen your leg, little external rotation through the hip. Reach out through the toes and slowly lower it down. And allow it to come to rest. Arms come down by your sides or you're rest, welcome to rest your hands on your tummy. We're gonna take just a moment. Closing our eyes. Focusing on the things within our control. Our responses and our reactions. Our thoughts and our breath. The world is a different place as we have known it our whole life. Yet we still have the same control over us that we've always had. How we respond to challenges. How we respond to others' actions. Stay positive. Stay kind. Remind yourself you don't know what others are going through and the challenges that they face. You stay kind, you stay positive. Sending that positive energy out into the world is an amazing gift and helps to make this world a far better place. We do our part to stay positive, to support and to help. So just take a moment, a couple good breaths. And as you're ready, gently drawing one knee in towards your chest and then the other. Either rolling to your side and gently using those arms to help you come up or rock it up and sit up nice and tall. Finding a comfortable place that feels right to you. Rest your hands wherever you wish. Close your eyes and sit up nice. As we bring our practice to a close today, a few words to share with you. As always, they are something you can take with you today or let them float on by. Hopes and dreams respond to love and nurture, as do people. Just gently open the eyes, take a big breath and reach to the sky, and exhale, thumbs to heart center. As always, you guys, my hope for you is an amazing day. Uh, I hope you feel great, and I hope your day is full of sunshine and warmth and friendship and love. Um, from me to you, the spirit in me honors the spirit in each and every one of you. Wish me peace.